guys, Wimby Kid Fan 20 here, and welcome to the seventh episode of News Tonight, where we will be talking about lots of new music from artists like um, Drake and Rihanna, Sigala, Dizzy Rascal, Calvin Harris, Bastille, and a few other artists. So let's get started. And the new thing about news tonight this week is that it's now the home for um for home for all the latest updates on uh, music, movies and video games. So let's get started with the music section. Dum dee dum new music dum dee dum new music. So we're starting off with the very first new music song, It's Too Good by Drake featuring Rihanna. And I bet you think I bet you guys that love Drake and Rihanna think that the result is too good. Cause if you give it a little listen, it might be a good song. So just a sec, I am just gonna put you on hold, but I will. So, yeah, really, guys, I guess it's too good for you. The next one is from an unknown artist called Nash, and I bet you're thinking, who's Nash? Well, he's, I think he's a rapper. He just teamed up with Olivia Rodrain for the hit smash, I Hate You, I Love You. And yeah, the trivia is that I think it's kind of similar to All My Fuss by Snake Hips, but I think it's good. And next one is 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 a triple collaboration. Yes, a triple song collaboration. It's between Sigala, John Newman and Nia Rogers, and it's called Give Me Your Love. And it's a really upbeat summer song. I bet you all guys are all enjoying it out there. Because I think it's the... I think it's a really good... Uh, well, I think it's a good song. Follow up to his hits, Easy Love, Sweet Loving and Say You Do. That's three tracks with the word um, using love in it. So, yeah, really. And the next track is Hype by Dizzy Rascal and Calvin Harris. Now, this track is apparently um, an upbeat dance track. It's a kind of track like that. But... I have read, um, I did read some of the reviews of this track on iTunes and apparently they were saying stuff like, oh this is rubbish, this is a load of noise, this is crap, this is a load of noise and where's Calvin Harris's other hits but I have reason to think it's it's good. If I was at the summertime ball when he performed it, I would have gone hype. And yeah, it's a good bouncy. It's a good deep house track that has that bouncy feeling to it. But unfortunately, some people on iTunes have done a bad review. Most people there's been two or three um, um, reviews saying loving this. But then it's the dark side. And it isn't any noise. Somebody said that it's like Pingu run over them. And I don't think that happened. But it sounded a bit like somebody running over somebody. The next track is apparently Hold Up by Beyonce. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do an impression now. Hold up, they don't love you like I love you. Slow down, they don't love you like I love This is an impression of the song. 
and you realise you realise that you may think about neither up nor down that song the one with that lyrics in it so yeah um I will put you back on here a second guys And it's from her Beyonce's latest album called Lemonade. And yeah, I think it's good. Seeing Capital FM covers of it and yeah. Moving on to the next track, it is Killing With Kindness by Selena Gomez. Which surprisingly, my friend spider Dan 19 um, actually put um, actually performed it he was and, and he was like in his room just doing that thing and he was like we don't love to fall from rain and then and then but, but then when the camera went to her it just he just looked like her in a room with girls and he looked like and maybe somebody could easily look like he was having sex <laughs> and yeah I, I, I think it's actually weird and then he was like, kill him with kindness. <laughs> and yeah, guys, um, it's a good song. It's taken from her album Revival. And music videos since did and everything wrong with Selena Gomez, kill him with kindness. And it will surprise you to know, I just told you that my friend <sighs> Spider-Dan19 performed it. If it... it if you want to go check Instagram, Spider Dan, um, Spider Danny was here, then you can. And you'll spot him singing with a bunch of girls that can easily look like he's having sex. And, yeah, really. So, moving on, we have Into, Into You by Ariana Grande. Which I didn't hear yet, but I know it's from, it's the second single taken from her album, Dangerous Woman. And, yeah, I've heard that song and it's pretty decent, actually. I mean, the Dangerous Woman one. So, yeah, it's a good song. But I haven't heard the other one yet. So... Yeah, guys, I do hope you are enjoying Into You by Ariana Grande. And when I hear it, I hope it's okay. And moving on is the track called Mama City, or Mama Mama Ke Mama Keita by Tiny Temper featuring Wizkid. Now, I think Wizkid is some sort of rapper. Tiny Temper is the big man who has gotten, um, who is recently at number 30 on the Vodafone Big Top 40 with his track Girls Like. I think that was his place last week. And yeah, but I haven't heard the rap yet and when I do hear the rap, I do hope I agree on the it's thumbs up. So, moving on. Good Reef by Bastille. I know you may be thinking Good Reef, what? But it is actually a new Bastille song. It's taken from a new upcoming album of theirs and it's going to be a good double thumbs up song. And the previous albums was like All This Bad Blood and Bad Blood. But... This is a new album of theirs. And I think I heard a bit of a song this morning. I think I heard it was a bit repetitive or something. But <clears throat> anyway, they had a hit single with Pompey back in 2013. And it's been mashed up, mashed up and remixed a lot of times <coughs> by... Um, a few people. Next one is another Zayn Malik slap rattle or whatever. And 
the new Zayn Malik's track is um, called um, Who, taken from the Ghostbusters movie. And yeah, we um, Capital FM said that they haven't heard it yet, but it, uh, but I think that it's gonna be a thumbs up. So moving on, we have Sledgehammer by Rihanna. If you're wondering what she's been doing, she's only gone and released Sledgehammer for the Stange Star Trek motion picture new one. I haven't heard that yet. There's a lot of new tunes I haven't heard yet. But I'm just talking about if it's going to be good. Next we have Perfect Strangers by Jonas Blue featuring J.P. Cooper. And I'm not even sure if I've heard it, but I know it's a high-pitched, I think I've heard a bit, and it's a high-pitched summer song, I think. Follow-up to Fast Car, cover of a Tracy Chapman song. Next one is Treat You Better by Shawn Mendes. Now I'm kinda, in my head I'm thinking that he ripped off stitches easily and and if I sing you both, will you know the difference? Okay, so now time to sing stitches. You watch me bleed until I can't breathe, shaking, falling onto my knees. And I'll be all without your kisses I need needing stitches I know I can treat you better than he can And it like a lot you deserve, sir Yeah, no way <laughs> So get the difference or not? If you don't get the difference, that's okay But most of you might get that difference So... <coughs> Um, moving on, it's Summer Nights by Tiesto and John Legend. Now Tiesto is one of those big superstar DJs, as you may know. And apparently, after remixing John Legend's track All of Me in a birthday treatment remix, which became a um, which became a hit as well as the original of John Legend's All of Me. He's just going to release Summer Nights featuring John Legend. And I haven't heard it, but I guess it's a Summer Night type of song with some EDM beats. And yeah, guys, so it's now time for the music um, movie section. And if you don't know about the new film, The Secret Life of Pets, then let me tell you some facts about it. Um, I've seen the trailer. There's one cat that likes fishing food when his owner isn't there. And then there's another cat, which also likes to get... When the owner is, of him is out, he likes to get a, a tan or something using a whipper machine. And then there's another posh poodle. Apparently, she prefers rock music than classical music. And, yeah, really. It's actually a good film. I've heard that Daniel's seen it last week. And I've heard that he said he liked it. So, yeah, guys. I'm sorry I keep having to go in away from the camera. But, anyway. Um, I've heard that Daniel said that it's a good film. I might see it sometime. But not tomorrow, because I've got to go to my DJ school where I will learn some music profession and hope to see it sometime and yeah it's in cinemas now if you ever if you any any of you want to see it and it's made by the same creators of Minions um, Illumination Entertainment and yeah I hope it's a good 
Cats and Dogs film, The Secret Life of Pets, that nobody knows about. And the next film is a sequel to Finding Nemo, and it's just called Finding Dory. You heard that, Finding Dory. And I think it's where instead of Finding Nemo, they find Dory. And... Yeah, if any of you Finding Nemo fans out there don't know about this, then I'm going to tell you about it right now. And that means right now, honestly. So, instead of Finding Nemo this time, we have to find Dory. And it's a brand new Disney film. I think it's out so very soon. And the last film of my movies before I move on to video games is um, the fourth Ice Age film called Collision Course and I've seen post a poster for it um, downtown Bradford and yeah if any of you Ice Age fans don't know about this then I'll tell you and I think they'll be doing lots of icy stuff and children's and and it's like going to be the Ice Age the fourth Ice Age in 20th Century Fox movies and yeah so now time to move on to a video game section you heard that a video game section so have you have any of you heard of the new video game um lego star wars the force awakens because they've just gone and released it and it's for a pc in one format I think or maybe just for a PC but anyway if any of you Lego, Lego Star Wars fans are out there then let me tell you that the new game Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens is right out now so yeah really I'm very sorry <coughs> it's it's just like a thing to the film Lego um, Star Wars The Force Awakens and they just went and released a PC video game I think of it and yeah I bet it's I bet it's good I bet you can battle stuff in it and like and stuff like that so yeah. moving on we have Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 and yeah and it's for the Wii U apparently and any of you fans out there from the Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games they've just gone and done like a sequel and it's but it's at the Rio Olympics this time yeah so you'll be treated to all the um, new levels and new stunts and stuff and I bet you'll like it if you've got a Wii U. The next one's also for a Wii U. It's it's Minecraft the Wii U edition. So if any of you people don't know Minecraft, which you probably will, because it's a very very popular game. Let me tell you that it's like a game where you can build stuff. And they've gone, gone and released a Wii U version of it. Pretty decent, don't you think? Yeah, I think so too. Because you can build lots of stuff in Minecraft. And one of the best per people on Minecraft to look for on YouTube is Stampy. I find it a bit babyish, but still you can search anybody else playing Minecraft as well as Stampy. And yeah, one of my friends Runa's at school. He loves Stampy, but he says he's he says he's doing Minecraft videos, and he thinks he's gonna call him Rawdon person. 
I, I don't know what he's going to call himself. But, yeah, sadly that won't, that YouTube channel won't be created till the next five years. But let's focus on now, not in the next five years. So, yeah. Yeah. Remember this song? That goes, I ride a car right through the mine, mine, mine. Over the trees I'm gonna climb, climb. And that's the Donkey Kong parody song. And it goes, mine, mine, mine. But we could easily make a Minecraft parody out of that mine, mine, mine bit, maybe. And, yeah. It's a good game, so you can now play it on the Wii U, Minecraft fans. And moving on, we have a new Kirby game called Planet Reboot for the 3DS, of course. And and it's like a and if any of you don't know Kirby, it's like um it's like a girl little character with like a face and two red shoes, I think. And she always fights for it. And I think in this new game you have to battle lots of mysteries and levels and bosses and stuff. And yeah, I remember playing Kirby's Kirby Dreamland and it was a bit hard and it was for the Wii. And I, and I remember couldn't and I remember I, I couldn't really get past the boss. But never mind, it's just games. So. Yeah, really. Hit the subscribe button if you want more. And stay tuned for your daily feed of news tonight in the next three weeks. And yeah, really. Please like, comment, share with your friends and subscribe. I'll see you all in episode 8 of News Tonight. Goodbye.